hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see from the title below i'll be coming at y'all with a pretty in pink makeup look so i'm just starting off with my primer which is my revolution mattifying primer and i'm just priming i feel so pale winter is officially here guys i am in dire need of some sun and a holiday but anyway so i'm just going in with my la girl pro concealer in chestnut just to conceal any dark marks and just to even out my skin tone so it's just one color and then I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and then blend that all out once I'm done with concealing I'm just going in with my foundations which is the ordinary foundations in 3.1 Y and 3.2 M I've only been using these for a couple of months and I've really been loving it so far it's vegan it's cruelty free it's everything and it's so inexpensive it's only £5.90 for the bottle and I really like the way it turns out even though I do have to blend two shades I am happy with the way that the foundation sits on my skin and I probably will repurchase this when the bottles are finished so I'm just using my foundation brush and I'm blending the foundation into my skin like so going on to my brows i have two brow pencils that i use so the first one is the makeup revolution brow pencil in medium brown and then i go in with the nyx eyebrow pencil in espresso so i'm just using the makeup revolution eyebrow pencil first just to give a general shape to my brows this is hands down probably my favorite eyebrow pencil thus far i have gone through many eyebrow pencils many have failed many have been discontinued but this seems to be my go-to once i'm happy with the general shape i just get my concealer in fawn which is also the la pro girl concealer and then i get it angled makeup brush and highlight underneath my brow bone like so and then I just blend out with my fingers so it doesn't leave any harsh lines and then I will go back in with the NYX eyebrow pencil just to give my brows a bit more body as the makeup revolution kind of gives it more of like a hair like stroke whereas the NYX one gives it more color and gives my brows a bit more body i'm kind of obsessive with my brows i kind of have a specific way i like them so i will go back and forth with these two pencils for as long as it takes until i'm happy with them basically once i'm happy with the way my brows look i will go in with my rimmel brow this way setting gel um just to set my brows like so And then I will go back in with the LA Pro Girl Fawn Concealer and highlight underneath my eyes and down my nose and a little bit on my forehead. Then again taking my damp beauty blender I'm just going to blend all of that out. Then going on to eyes I'm taking this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette i've had this for literally forever and i'm just taking this kind of bricky red shade and then putting that into the crease of my eyes i do this occasionally and then i will take my makeup evolution setting powder in terracotta and set under my eyes i really like this powder it doesn't leave a white cast it has a yellow undertone which i really, really like and yeah it makes my makeup sit pretty much most of the day i am an oily girl so this powder really does help moving on to lashes i'm taking my rimmel day to night mascara i absolutely love this stuff i've been using this for years it makes my lashes so long i absolutely love it i will occasionally wear eyelashes but on an everyday occasion or when i just don't feel like sticking on eyelashes i will use this mascara as you guys can see it makes such a difference so i'm using the um second part of the mascara which is like a thinner wand which makes your lashes longer and i'm obsessed with this
moving on to lips i'm literally just using this rimmel dark brown um eyebrow pencil as a lip liner i do that a lot if i like the color then i will just use the pencil regardless whether it's supposed to be a lip pencil or not but anyway i'm just lining my lips Then I'm just going in with one of my favourite burgundy lipsticks which is the Rimmel Starry Eyed Lipstick in 128 and I'm just kind of dabbing that into the centre of my lips to add some colour. Then I'm going in with a random lip gloss that I've had for quite a while. I can't remember the name of it guys because it's literally just rubbed off. And then I'm going in with my hands down Holy Grail number no. 7 clear lip gloss. This is my go-to, this is my favourite. It doesn't leave your lips looking bitty and it doesn't taste weird. And then for blush, this is a little trick I used to do in college where I would dab my lipstick onto the tips of my fingers and then just rub it into my cheeks. I think it just adds a nice little blush to the face without going ham. I used to do this all the time in college and I just remembered I used to do it. And then I'm just highlighting using the Revolution palette again. It's a lighter shade from the palette and I'm just doing that in my inner tear duct and on my cheekbones. And then to set my whole entire face, I'm using the Revolution Hydrate and Fix setting spray. And then I'm being bougie and fancy and using a fan just to make sure it's settled into my face. And that is a completed look. <laughs> um, I'm just taking my hair down playing with it for a bit as I usually do just to see how I want it and I decided to just leave it down so this is the finished look guys I really hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you are new to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video peace